Hey guys and welcome to part 17 of my rock creation series and in this video I want to take a look at how we can um, add a little vertex painting and some other interesting features to the, the texture here so uh, if we open up the material it looks like this right now and I'm kind of disappointed with the way it looks so I decided actually to go uh, I need to this actually I decide to that I need to investigate a little bit more on this and as you can see I only use the close up and object scale in this version here and if we compare that with just the mesh texture the one that I uh, painted out a seam inside uh, Mudbox then we can see it looks like uh, this currently and it's actually also a little bit blurry blurry um, Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is to do something completely different uh, in this video. Um, so to begin with, I am going to, let's see, uh, I'm going to pull in another texture. Uh, I have a few dragged in here, a new texture looking like this. And I also have another one here uh, with some moss and I will just drag in another one I just downloaded, which is kind of a grass covered something. Uh, and you can find them by just going to images Google and searching for various kind of stuff and you will find plenty of these things. Or you could make them yourself, uh, it's pretty easy inside um, Photoshop. Uh, let me know if you can't figure out how to do it, it's very easy. Um, so uh, let's continue with this texture so I'm gonna drag this over here and I'm gonna drag this one in and maybe this one and also maybe this one um, so we have s some stuff to play around with and then we're gonna make some more space and Actually, first of all, let's just for this experiment, just go with the new texture, the, this one, this gray one. So I think it looks a little bit better. So with that texture, uh, everything looks like this, uh, which is hmm, kind of acceptable. I would say it's actually looking pretty good, just uh, like that. Uh, we could, could try and add... Um, some tiling to this, so let's tile this three times. And that was maybe a little bit too much, but it still looks kind of rocky and it's looking a bit more detailed up close. So again, it's the same story as before. Uh, we need to, to play around with this, maybe um, replace it somewhere else here or if we want it to. But anyway, let's get back to the blending here. So, um, blend. It's called weld something. Okay, that's no, it's not gonna. It's gonna weld aligned. Hold on, blend. There it is. Um, so this one takes uh, a few parameters, and to be honest, I don't know what. Uh, all of them does, but I figured out that um, the the blend sharpness, if you start preview this, you're just going to get something black. But if you insert a value of uh, a one, you will get uh, blend in the middle here. And if you play on with the, the sharpness or the, the blend bias, um, say set that to one, then it's going to go further down. And if you set it somewhere like minus one, it's going to, well, it's going to go black in this case here so actually if we pull this one up a little bit we can see something is starting to change so 2.5 for example you can see it's, it's only the top and it's kind of uh, soft the way so if you wanted to, to have that one of these um, let's say the uh, this texture here the the, mo the the grass on top of here we can 
plug in this one and this one and then the alpha into the alpha and then this one in here um, and then hit save and that's going to give us um, a more grassy something it's going to grow some grass on top of the the rock and this is a, a topic that has been covered quite a few times but it's still something new to me so i thought it would be nice to mention uh, how i approached this um, so i'm gonna set this maybe up to three and see it if it gets a little bit more pronounced maybe in four okay there we go and we might also want to tile this one so actually let's tile this one the same and see how that looks um, because right now it looks kind of bad okay so we'll, it's it's time to look a little bit better uh, and we can see it's only growing uh, a grass on the top uh, which is pretty nice um, so let's make this into a kind of a a more usable, more um, configurable texture, uh, rock texture. Um, so we can do that by adding a vertex paint. Vertex paint, I think it's called, let me just check, uh, vertex color it's called. There you go. Um, and instead of just plugging it in uh, this lerp in here, we can add another lerp. And let's use the red channel um, and what I mean by that is that we have four different channels we can paint in. Um, so we can paint in the red, the green, the blue, or the alpha. So I decided to just use the red uh, channel. And whenever I then paint with the red channel, then I want it to be using whatever I get out of the World Align blend. And if I then paint, um, uh, I don't have any any red then I want to use uh, let's say let's say the raw rocky texture um, so what that's gonna give oh I need to connect that one up here so what that is gonna give us right now is uh, currently in just a little bit. I may have some left some painting on from a test here. I'm just going to remove. Uh, do I have something on this one? Maybe remove. Oh, yeah, I had a, some paint here. Okay, so it seems like we need to switch these two. So I need to put this one down here and this one up here in order to get some of that world aligned blend texture on. So the thing is, when I when you open up the paint tab here, pretty full, it's going to be red, green, and blue checked. So you want to uncheck the red and the green. And that means that whenever you select an object, you need to make sure to select it. Otherwise, nothing is going to happen. And then you can adjust your, uh, your radius here, uh, maybe a little bit smaller. And you can also play around with the strength. And then whenever you paint, uh, currently nothing is happening but if you hold on control come on um, I'm doing something wrong <laughs> sorry um, no shift sorry hold down shift don't listen to what I said in the beginning okay so hold down shift and then you can oops, um, paint uh, away some of that uh, world aligned blend grass that was added automatically. And that allows you to create some variations which uh, you wouldn't normally just uh, have uh, access to. Um, so in case you use that uh, world aligned blend and you want to get rid of some of this to just create something a little, looking a little bit more um, uh, unique then you can do it this way so if you want for example to create something a little more blending a little bit more better with something over here then that would be a good uh, use of it 
um, maybe also remove some of that stuff down here. So it doesn't look like it's it's a very sharp edge. So it's got a it's a good way to blend things. So let's say we also wanted <clears throat> um, to add in some of that mossy thingy looking. I don't know what it is. It's looking really weird. I should have taken a different one. Um, and then you can just add another one. You just need to add another loop here. And you want to make sure to plug that in here. And let's see, the grass is going to be um, this one is going to come here. And I actually think it's the other way around. I want this one up here. We'll figure it out. So let's this time use the green color, uh, the green channel. And we might also want some texture tiling here. So I'm just going to take that same, or we could just drag it from all the way over here. Uh, right. Oh, like that. And then one, what we can do now is to, instead of painting with the red, then we paint with the green. Uh, and let's hold down control again. And then we can also add in some of that uh, mossy look. Um, so it doesn't just get that um, maybe a little bit boring uh, grass texture. And uh, I would say this is a good way to create uniqueness. Uh, I am not aware of what this means in terms of uh, performance hit. Uh, we can actually also add this on the side here as well, which is pretty cool. I'm not really sure, can we do that with this one on the side? Um, no, we cannot add that because it's not added to begin with. Okay. Um, nope. Okay. Um, anyway, um, we could also, for example, take our original one and throw that in here, just as a last thing. Um, so, what did we put that one here and that one here, and that one here, and then use the blue channel so uh, whenever we paint with the blue channel we should get some of the, um, the original um, sandy rock back so let's see I'm holding on control here so and I don't know if I can use my pen for this And I see shift and then shift. Okay, so as you can see, we can actually create something pretty interesting uh, quite easily just by plugging various textures in here and adding this one single vertex color node here and then a bunch of lerps and that's actually all it takes. Um, so the only drawback I can see to this approach is that if you if you wanted to have all of this use uh, work together with object scaling of textures and distance blending and so on you need to put a little bit more work into it because these textures over here they are kind of general and i would say these textures are also general but this one is uh unique um so i guess this one would probably replace this one this general node and then I would paint out uh, texture seams on this one.
uh, instead. And we might also want to do something like um, taking care of the, the normal maps. So we also um, adjust the normal maps when we paint. I'm not entirely sure if you can do that. But I guess why not? That's something I, I have to figure out. But anyway, I, uh, I think I'm just talking now uh, about some um, pretty obvious stuff here. So uh, I'll let you guys uh, play around with this for now and uh, hope you enjoyed and bye for now.